You can see how poor people is in live in Cambodia. So this is not a land, but it, the land from monastery that she asked and the monk kindly give to her to live in temporary. who tag and who what that do charity work they will go there and interview her son how is her life and her name is Ray and she is 67 years old <coughs> She said catching thread tail for the rope, 12 rope only got 50 cents, but she had to spend whole day only to get it done 24 rope per day. Tak and Puwat already get to her house and they both say hello, how are you? And she said, I'm good, I'm alright. And what is your name? Oh my name is Ray. And how old are you? Oh I am 67. What do you get all this rope from? Oh, I got it from the factory. Kutaka, what do you do with this rope? And she said, Oh, this rope I got it from the factory. You can see the thread tail, and then I just pull it out, and then I cut it. At some thread tail, we don't need to cut it, and then just push it in. That's all set. Oh, they look so beautiful in the thin rope. Yes, of course, the rope so beautiful. And I earn a little money from this, you know. It's not so much, but a 12 rope, I can earn 50 cents. And then a day, I probably earn 10,000 real. They equal $2 and a half. Who would say, Oh, it's earning so little, only two dollars and a half. And how can you survive with this little money? And she said, well, I do not know, but I just try to do the best I can because no jobs around open and only I be able to work from my son. He just worked there about 10 days ago and, and he asked his boss, can he get some work out there to, to give to his mom. And Bobot asked her, how many ropes do you finish or get it done a day? She said, 
Yes, the top I work until midnight to finish sixty rope. And how much money do you earn? She said only ten thousand real. And ten thousand real equal two dollar fifty cent. And Putak asked, How many kids do you have? And she said, I only have one son. Putak asked, What is your son doing? Yeah, he works. Where? He works in uh, manufacture here. That what he can ask his boss and brought this clothes and give me some job and earn a little income. Oh, okay. For what else? Do you have enough money for your living when you work with this rope to make a little money? And as he said, well, it's not enough for my living, but what else should I do? And then I can earn a little money to help my son and to buy medication too. You can see a lot of medication I have and it helped me a lot, but like I told you, it's not a whole lot for people who have money, but poor like me, it's a lot of money and a lot of help me for my living and survive for my old age. And Puwut asked, where do you live before? And she said, yeah, I live it over here. And Puwut said, it's so far, how can you get here? And she replied, it's not that far, it's next to the village. Because I moved here to get the land that I asked the monk to live here and can be able to build my home and close to my son's company too. Puwot asks, after you get done on this rope, who going to take it back to the company? Oh, my son that took this rope for me, and he take it back to the company. Putak asks, okay, example. If you took a hundred rope from the company, and then if you lose ten of them, who going to pay for it? the company? Oh no, no. If I lost 10 rope, I have to pay for it. How can you afford it? Well, I don't know. But do you think you sure return to whatever your son took for you to work on it and bring it back uh, the same number? Yeah, I'm sure we never lost. We have to be careful to do it. We count it first and then we send it back amount of the number that my son took it from the company. Oh, okay. I just asked, I want to know how you do it and what happened if you lost them. <laughs> she says, okay. Who would say, uh, hello everybody. I heard about her life and her son, so I am and then Putak here to ask her some question and interview her for her real life and what is really going on. But now I'm already asked and you already know what is her life, but uh, it's so hard for her, but I try my best to come here, it's uh, hard to, you know, it's a long distance to travel here to us and helping her, so I make the video to post on YouTube, it probably people can see it, because mostly support me and Putak, people live in the United States, especially Cambodian, but some uh, American too, to help to support me, so I'm here to prove everybody I really have a heart and I really feel so sad and sorry for them and I just do my best with Putak to do the charity work so I got some money from uh, Uncle Paul and Aunt Chanty that sent it to me so I'm going to give to her some it probably can help a little but not a whole lot but you know she only make 250 cents a day but I will give her some the gift 
it, the, the so special gift uh, from general people and giving to her uh, probably can help her a little bit. And Puvot asked her, do you want to have some little business and you can sell it around the local and can make your life living better? And she said, yeah, I want to, but the problem is I'm getting sick. My knee hurt, my back hurt, and uh, a lot of things going on with my old body. I have to take a lot of medication every day, but I do this job, only I do what I can. It's a light job, just cutting the thread tail, and then this so light, but I cannot cook anything, lifting something heavy. So uh, I'm really appreciate for your help, and then thank you, I cannot work. Okay, that's fine, I'm going to give you some money. So the gift from Uncle Paul and Aunt Janty is $25, and I really appreciate to bring all the donation to give it to you. Do you have something to say to them? Okay, um, thank you very much and for your help for this old poor like me and I'm 67 years old, you know, we didn't have enough food to eat, place to stay, water, clean water to drink and then my health is going down and there's a lot of help for my medication and for my other expense. And for what say thank you for everybody for watching and the support from overseas, everybody who are generous people and I'm from uh, overseas, live in Cambodia and thank you from Cambodia border uh, really really appreciate and thank you for general gift and thank you for your nightly heart to care about all the poor people but I'm here promise to work on this what I can but as long I stay healthy and as long as you guys still supporting us I'm really happy and Putak say thank you very much for your support without you nothing can change it here but uh, amount of the little people that I can work on it but uh, if we get more sponsors and more donation and I will do more but it right now just start from little and we just do the best we can and for what said uh, we both working hard on it don't worry if you like to donate please leave the comment if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe the channel and i have to go now bye bye you guys have a wonderful day happy new year guys Yes, you hear for the tale from Puwet and Putak went to her house. Her name is uh, Ray, and then she's 67 years old, and she's so poor, it's hardly to make the income, because over there, you know, already no job open and available around. And thank you for your support and watching. If you would like to help continue more support, please, share the video when you see it and then please help to subscribe and click notification bell to get new video and i have to go now and you guys have a wonderful day and happy new year we we'll see you guys on the next video thank you again for your watching and support